Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our new session of uh, Jira series. So today we are going to discuss a little bit technical thing about the REST APIs. How we can use REST API to fetch the issues from Jira. So Jira provide a good documentation to us about how we can use REST API. So usually you have seen the way like we can uh, get the download in the form of Excel, but at last uh, Jira also provide an option to fetch the data in the form of JSON as well. So let's see uh, about uh, the documentation that is being provided by uh, Atlassian. So you can go through uh, these uh, documentation and it will provide you all the options like how we can create uh, issues with the help of REST API or we can fetch different kinds of issues with the help of REST API as well. So before uh, doing these things, we need to generate a uh, API key so that we can fetch those issues. So the steps are very simple one. We just have to click on uh, this one and just click on the account setting. After clicking on the account setting, you just have to click on the security. You can see like here we have an API token. Just click on the API token and you can create new API token as well. Just click on that, add anything over here and create it. You would get a API token uh, like this, right? So now you just move into Atlassian. Uh, your postman. So I would show you the process of getting uh, getting issue detail, and then we would create an issue and uh, how we can get the metadata that we can use during creating an issue. So th this this is the metadata. Uh, what kind of information you have to provide? So for getting the metadata, just click on. Uh, just fetch this URL uh, from your instance, like uh, we have this URL, just click over here. So this is the URL, just copy this URL and play, replace it over here. And the next part is going to be remain same. After that, just click on the send button. You would get the metadata of all the issues type. Those are available here. And one more thing like, uh, which I forget, just uh, click on the basic authentication under authorization. Use username and the API token that we have created. So this is this is the result that we get in the form of uh, diff metadata. And this metadata we used when we create some issues on uh, Jira. So like, uh, let's see, like we have a story metadata over here. Just search about story. So under story, we can use these kind of fields, right? So these, this provide us the information like which field is required, which field is not required, those kind of things. Okay, so now let's see how we can get an issue detail. The process is same, just that URL is there and here you just have to provide the issue ID, issue key. So you can see over here, like uh, we have SDP 8, SDP 9, and I am using SDP 13 as an issue ID. So just put that ID over here and click on the send button. Same authentication authorization needs to be there. And we get the complete detail of the issues over here. And uh, you, we can go to summary to match that the same issue is coming over here or not. So you can say like, as a solo female traveler, I want to know option available for airport pick and drop. And you can check over here as DB13 is, as a solo female traveler, I want to know option available for airport this. So we can change the ID and we get the different uh, detail. So let me change the ID of uh, SDP 40. So make it SDP. 40 and just send it. 
and now the issue type that you are going to get is bug and check the summary of that. So you can see optimization of code can be done here. So SDP 40 is optimization of code can be done here. So similarly, we can fetch this information and use it in various uh, programming languages wherever we want, because this is a pure JSON. We can use it in our Java languages, .NET languages or anywhere else. So let's see another example where we are going to create an issue. So based upon the uh, based upon this uh, that we fetch our uh, metadata, I have created this structure and only included the mandatory field over here. Like for creating an issue, I just need a summary. Issue type, this ID represent a story. And uh, what would be its parent ID? Like Epic would be SDP3 and uh, project key is SDP. And this is the reporter ID, it's the user ID that we can get for any use. So this is the structure. And you can see like summary is issue created by REST API. You can check like currently there is no issue about that name. And we are sending this request to create an issue. Okay, so we get that like 201. So this issue is get created over there. So we just refresh that. And this issue would be in our backlog. Issue created by REST API. So you can see like we can use uh, Jira REST API to control the Jira as well. So we can fetch this information, create our dashboard, Power BI dashboard, and those kind of things with the help of this. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.